Hey guys, today we're going to review the Orca Torch T11. Don't let the name fool you guys. This is one spectacular light. And just so we can kind of clear things up, they sent this to me for review. They sent me two of these bad boys. One that we're going to test out here and uh, another one that we're going to do a torture test on. I really love it when a company uh, is willing to stand by their product and just lets you do a no-holds-barred torture test. That to me says a lot about a company. Uh, Orca Torch is a company that made their name selling uh, higher end dive lights and now they're branching, hence you know the name Orca Torch, and they're branching out now into the uh, tactical and EDC flashlight market. So they wanted to send this out to some reviewers and let us uh, see what they think. So I've had some really good results with this flashlight so far, which I'm going to share. And then uh, of course, we're not, sorry guys, I'm a little sniffly here today, uh, a little bit of a cold settling in, so excuse the... Uh, the uh, bad audio here. Um, so, like I said, we've had some. I've had some really good results and promising results so far. That this is a really great flashlight. So we're going to go through the numbers really quick. This is a uh, flashlight that takes a single AA battery. It can take either the uh, rechargeable nickel metal hydrides or alkalines. You cannot use lithium uh, rechargeables. It's only rated for three volts. So I did want to put that out there. But we are going to try it in the torture test just to see what happens. So do check in on that in a couple of days. Brightness, high mode, turbo, 190 lumens for 2.6 hours, 80 lumens for 7.6 hours, 30 lumens for 19.8 hours, low, 10 lumens for 60 hours. Now my numbers I got were very, very similar. I got 184, 60, 22, and 6. So given the level of error in my measurement, I would say that what they're advertising is dead on. Now the only area of discrepancy with my testing is the runtime on turbo. They came up with 2.6 hours and there's a reason, which is this light has a step down. After a couple minutes on turbo, the light steps down to a uh, dimmer mode. Actually it dims the almost about halfway. So of course if you're running that, it's going to uh, just turn on and walk away. You're going to get that 2.6 hours. I ran this thing full blast and basically sat there watching TV. Every time the light dimmed, I knocked it back up to turbo again. So I got 103 minutes like that, which is a very impressive run for 180 lumens. It's actually going through my notebook. There's not many lights out there in the market that can maintain 180 lumens for that long. In fact, in my numbers, you can actually see here, this thing maintained 100% brightness all the way out to 60 minutes and only lost 20% out to 80 minutes and then bonked out pretty close to uh, 100. So, uh, and even then it ran very long, you know, an extra, you know, quite a few minutes at that, at that lower, lower mode, which is nice because you do have a nice uh, little bit of warning before the light goes out completely. So... Really good performance, my alkaline performance. Um, very uh, common performance for alkalines for such a high power flashlight. Went from, uh, oops, very high, very gradual fall down to pretty much nothing. It did last about 120 minutes. So you're getting about two hours of usable light with a alkaline battery. Of course, this thing is waterproof. Um, says it can light 106 meters. I'm not quite sure if it's that far, but I'd say it's pretty close. 75 at least, bare minimum. The uh, has the XP G2R5 LED. Comes with an alkaline battery, which I already used and tossed. Sorry guys, you don't get to see it. Aircraft grade aluminum. Flashlight weight 55 grams. Total length 104 millimeters by 25 millimeters by 23 millimeters. So let's show you real quick the. Uh, pocket, and not sorry, the belt pouch it comes with. Nice little, it's nothing fantastic, but it's actually better than a lot of them you get. Just a little tiny belt pouch. Sewed really nicely. Kind of nice tight, you know, this is actually kind of tight, which is good. It doesn't slide around on your belt a ton. Little leather front that has the name on there. So, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So we've talked about performance. This thing did very well. Definitely top five when it came to performance. It uh, looks nice. It runs good. What else do we need to talk about? Let's talk about construction. 
So of course we have granulated bezel, so if you do need to use it in a, in a tactical situation, you have that. You also have the anti-roll flats, so you don't have to rely on the pocket clip. So if you are not using the pocket clip, you do not have to worry about this thing rolling away. It does have the flats on the head. A lot of mass in the head. It's actually a very heavy flashlight for the size. Very good anodizing. I'm seeing no pocket wear so far. The belt clip is probably the best belt clip I have on a flashlight. It's really a well-made belt clip, and Orca Torch really did their homework in doing this. Most places, most flashlights do not have what I consider to be great pocket clips. Not only does this have a really super strong pocket clip, but it's a nice deep carry and is very, very well attached to the flashlight. This is not coming off without tweezers, so you're going to need tweezers to do that before we get into showing you the beam. Of course, it's O-ring sealed. You see the threads are lubed, O-ring sealed, very nice clean cut threads. A lot of attention to detail in this light that you don't see in a lot of lights. I mean, those threads are very clean, they're lubed, it's done right. Thank God. You know, the knurling, done well. Everything about this is done well. You can see the end, where it's unanodized. On the tube, it's very clean. There's not spots of anodization on there. Inside of the tube is clean. Nice brass contact at the head. Now the head is glued, so I can't take it apart any further to look. But there's another good sign, guys. One of the things I always look for for quality are the springs. And that is a very heavy duty spring. It's probably a coated, you know, steel. But it's very thick. Very good, very well made. Nice retaining clip holding the the board in for the switch. That to me screams quality. And that's very important to me is to see things like that. Nothing worse than spending a lot of money on the light and seeing just a really cheap, thin, you know, whimsical little spring. How does this guy work? Simple. Tail switch in the back. It's a reverse switch. So it means you turn the light on and then half clicks will cycle through the modes. So, cool thing is it's XPG2, which has this, you can see there's a, a bright hot spot here. Turn this light off. You can see that bright hot spot in the center. The XPG2 does that. It's a very small LED, makes a very nice bright hot spot. Also has a good amount of spill on the outside too. So this is a good walking around light, backyard, camping, hunting, very, very versatile because it does have this hot spot that will travel a long ways, but also you see that outer edge of the spill there, you know, good for just walking around. So as I said, reverse clicky, four brightness modes, fast strobe, slow strobe. Nice tint too. If you look at this, you can see the tint is a very nice kind of warmish yellow. It's not one of those uh, kind of uh, pale blue tints you see with cheap LEDs. Once again, a sign of very good construction that they went and took the time and got an LED that has a very nice tint to it. So once again, you know, very good sign when you see stuff like that. So. All right. So to sum everything up, what do we got here? Right now, this light is selling on Amazon for $29.99. That could change. That could go up. That could go down. Who knows what Orca Torch is going to do? They're new to the market. It could drop. It could go up. You know, you never know. But I do know one thing. This is one of the better lights I've reviewed in a while. I think with the exception of the Thrunite Archer, this is probably one of the better AA lights I own. It's very heavy. You know, it's a lot bigger. If you look at some of the other internet, I think I got handy here. Like here's a Thrunite T10. You can see it's a much bigger flashlight, but it's still very pocketable. It handles heat very well. It performs very well. A lot of run, run time, a lot of brightness, very good regulation. As you saw, that light's holding 100% brightness for one hour, which is almost unheard of with these smaller flashlights. You know, it's got that nice crenulated bezel. It can tail stand if you want to use it as a candle. Nice, clean 
clean, 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 smooth reflector, good glass in there. A little bit, you know, it's supposed to be anti-reflective, but I can see a little, you know. But overall, this thing is very nice, very high quality for the money, and I am really looking forward to see what else Orca Torch puts out, just because the performance on this was so nice. So I know at first glance you're going to say Orca Torch sounds gimmicky, but these guys really are putting out very, very high-end flashlights that are doing uh, very well. I was very glad to be able to uh, test this, and I really look forward to smashing the living daylights out of one of these, because if this thing holds up in a, in a uh, torture test, you know, this may be this may be a new favorite. So we'll see. Hopefully we'll have that out by the end of the week.